Well, now to team coverage tonight on the death of a local civil rights leader. We just learned that Sadie Roberts Joseph's death has been ruled a homicide. Tonight we talked to those closest to her, but first, NBC Local 33's Crystal Whitman joins us now with new information that could help find her killer. Crystal? Well, Dion Jean, good evening. The loss of the civil rights icon is deeply felt here in the community. And with this latest announcement, the community is hopeful whoever is responsible will be brought to justice. Information released by the Baton Rouge coroner's office will hopefully solve the homicide of civil rights icon Sadie Roberts Joseph. Those in the community still in shock over her death. She had a heart and a passion around education and culture, but she just had a heart and a love for the people of this community. Monday afternoon, East Baton Rouge coroner Dr. Clark released the preliminary findings of Roberts Joseph autopsy. Asphyxia is a lack of oxygen, and when we talk about suffocation, that's a mechanical obstruction uh, of the airway and the airways typically uh, the beginning of the airway is the is of course the nose and the mouth. Meanwhile the Baton Rouge police has confirmed that Robert's Joseph body was found in the trunk of her own car. Tonight they're searching for leads from the public to help lead to an arrest. I believe the community is going to step up and and uh, and do their part to help us uh, identify this person and put him behind bars. And they say if anyone knows information about the death to give them a call at Crime Stoppers. For NBC Local 33 News, I'm Crystal Whitman. Crystal, thank you. Well, tonight we are learning more about Roberts from those closest to her. NBC Local 33's Jonah Gilmore spoke with one of the activist's best friends. Jonah, what are we hearing more about?